Hey, Doug Radke here from KRG Hospitality. Today, I want you to think of how happy you feel when you're looking forward to something. Research has actually shown that anticipating something can be a powerful, positive emotion that can help us live happier lives. Perhaps it's no secret that we tend to experience more intense emotions about future opportunities than those in the past. This is because on the whole, we have an expectation that future opportunities will make us feel more emotionally prepared than the ones that have passed. Why am I bringing this up? Well, I think I am safe in saying that 2020 was a bit of a shit show and the current scenario is obviously a little bit difficult to look at. But we have to find ways to look for positives and look forward to something. Many are in survival mode right now. I get it. And it's likely hard, you know, to look for those positives right now. But they are out there and there are ways to envision a positive future. And I also get that when you're in survival mode within this industry or any industry, you're just trying to get through the day. Survival mode means there's no long term or medium term plan. It's all about getting through the next 24 to 48 hours, the end of the pandemic or even the end of the week feels like a long way off. And when you're stuck in survival mode, you feel like you'll never dig yourself out of the current scenario. But if you're in survival mode, you need to recognize it. You need to own it and pay attention to the small details. This situation that the industry is currently in will not resolve overnight. It is going to take extreme levels of action over time to get this industry and perhaps your business back on track. Even a vaccine being distributed is not going to provide immediate results and there is no quick fix. All of the takeout and delivery options in the world plus the number of people currently taking local staycations are not going to save the hospitality industry. All of the bailout money thrown around by our you know government bodies may extend a brand's chance of survival but it is not going to save this industry. What will save this industry, or at least your involvement in it, is adapting to change and anticipating the future. Success moving forward really comes down to two fairly simple questions. Number one, are you prepared? And number two, can you execute? This is really a yes or no question. Either you are and you can, or you aren't and you cannot. You need to understand that the previously perceived normal wasn't necessarily correct. You need to visualize this quote, new normal that is upon us. You need to take action and be prepared to turn that vision of a new normal into reality. You need to get out of survival mode and begin to anticipate and strategize a way to thrive because if you are not prepared, you're going to wish you had taken those opportunities to embrace change. You are in fact going to wish that you had made a different choice. This may not be a popular statement right here, but bear with me. Taking action is the one thing that separates the winners from the non-winners, the haves from the have-nots, and the high achievers from the average at best restaurants, bars, and hospitality venues. Only a surprising few will get to have all of the abundance and glory and satisfaction that this new world and new industry will have to offer simply because they are the select few who will embrace change, adapt away from the previous normal, and who will ultimately take action. The simple fact remains that, you know, in life we are not rewarded for what we actually know, but what we actually do. And of course, many people don't take action because they're either fearful of change, fearful of being different, fearful of taking the lead, and fearful of the consequences. And when you set aside that fear and drive towards action, it means you're doing the research, you're preparing yourself, your team, and your brand, and you're also executing at a consistent high level. You are also sending a powerful signal to the world that you expect and anticipate meeting a series of pivots, objectives, and results. No matter your current situation, there are no excuses. You have an opportunity right now to anticipate, take action, and exit that survival mode. While there are struggles out there that I have absolute empathy for, 
We also have to stop the excuses in this industry that are holding us back. The things that are in our control. I hear excuses all the time, both pre-pandemic and during the pandemic, and I will likely hear it after as well, and so will you. But one thing I have learned is this. Excuses are the killers of positive change, great ideas, an average at best business, and our, even our day-to-day -day relationships. The real problem is that oftentimes we aren't even honest about the excuses that we use. And when you can face the truth and identify your excuses, you can start to eliminate them one by one and begin to find real success no matter the challenges or the government restrictions. Now, going back to my uh, two questions, what's going to be your excuse for not being prepared and not executing? What's the excuse going to be for not having a plan in place to either start a new hospitality business, scale your current hospitality business, or better yet, exit survivor mode this year? Making excuses is just the easy way out, and I know you can do better than that. And the fact that you've watched this to the end with me, I know you're ready for that next step. So let's schedule a call to talk about your action plan for a visualized, anticipated future.